Hello, how's it? It's Elton here, Grumpy Kit. So I just want to have a chat to you today about uh, heights and specifically my bloody fear of them. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people have got fear of heights, but I think my uh, fear of heights goes to the next level, pretty much. Uh, it's It's very limiting because obviously as a photographer, I'd love to go up to the high spots um, and you know get photos of the lovely views etc however my vertigo um, is concerning in the fact that you know if I see someone else up on a high ledge I, I feel my body going numb and pretty much losing control of it so my fear is should I walk to a cliff edge for example look over the edge my vertigo kicks in my whole body goes numb and I just fall over the edge um, so yeah it's something that i hope during this road trip to kind of conquer and get my head around and figure out where this vertigo comes from because in my younger days i didn't have fear i was climbing trees 10 stories tall i was on a bmx coming off ramps that were ridiculously high up in the air i used to go on roller coasters and fun you know fun park theme uh, theme park rides etc However, these days, as I say, it's just, it's ridiculous. Um, I can't even walk up step, steps that uh, have gaps between them. You know, those steps where you can see through. It's ridiculous. I remember once watching uh, Billy Connolly on, I don't know which terrestrial channel it was, but essentially he was traveling Route 66. And in the first episode, I think it might have been the Chrysler building or something he was in, but essentially this building up on the 50th or 60th floor or something had a glass room that protruded from the building and you could walk out into this room and look straight down, you know, to the people down below that looked minute. Um, and I was lying in bed watching this at the time and just as the camera went from looking forwards to going down and looking down, I, my whole body just went numb. It was a ridiculous situation. Um, and therefore, it's obviously something I need to kind of get my head around, go and see the doctor. Maybe I've got an inner ear issue. Um, I'm hoping it's not an inner ear issue or a medical condition because that's clearly something I can't deal with and can't get over specifically. So, um, yeah, that's the first step. Go to the doctor, get myself checked out, make sure I don't have any inner ear issues that are causing this vertigo because I really, once I get on the road and start traveling, um, you know, I really want to be able to go up the Eiffel Tower, um, go up a cable car to the top of a mountain and, and see the views and capture those views for you guys. So... There will be a few um, on my Buy Me A Coffee uh, page, there will be a few goals that I will set. So, because one thing, I'm, uh, <laughs> one thing I'm not prepared to do is pay for myself to shit myself. So there will be a few things where if people want to sponsor me to go up a cable car to the top of a bloody mountain, or to walk across a glass bridge, or to step out onto a glass ledge, um, they can sponsor me to do that. Um, because I am simply, as I say, I, I'm simply not paying for the privilege of soiling my pants. Um, sorry guys, I'm paying for enough other things, which obviously I have no issue with because this is about me living out a lifelong dream. Um, but yeah, I, I just can't justify paying out of my own pocket to bring your to bring you guys some entertainment value uh, just to be on the brink of a heart attack um, so yeah keep an eye out on the buy me a coffee page and once I'm on the road I will start putting out some options there for you guys to sponsor me if you like if you want to see what a grown man looks like in tears um, or if a body that just gives up the will to live and all bones turn to jelly so yeah, there we have it. And this is one of the reasons why in my channel intro, I explained that you're not gonna see any high adrenaline stuff here. You're not gonna see me going along a mountain ridge on a mountain bike with cliffs on either side. It's simply not gonna happen. 
um, if I do anything like this and you guys want to sponsor me to do crazy shit uh, it's gonna be safe obviously um, I haven't got a death wish I've got a wish to see as much of the world as possible in as safe manner as possible my high adrenaline days are behind me um, but you know as I say I do want to do some of these things there are certain places in the world where I want up Machu Picchu for example one of the top places on my list of places to see um, again quite high up I believe the road the access road to get there can be a bit scary for people with height issues but again I have to deal with it because that is one place on my list I have to go and see so yeah have a look at uh, if you've got any tips around vertigo and how to deal with with fear of heights etc please do comment below because i'd welcome some feedback on this one um i have been looking into sky jumping um however in the uk if you're over 40 which i am uh, you have to get doc your gp's permission to do such a thing so unfortunately because i've got some back issue history it's very unlikely that the doctor is going to give me that permission to jump out of a plane. Um, my, my rationale was that, that if I jump out of a plane, surely that would solve the problem. Either one, I'm going to have a heart attack and die before I reach the ground. Or two, it's probably the highest jump you could make, right, out of an aeroplane. Uh, so everything else, by comparison, should be a walk in the park as it were that's the theory um, how practical it will actually turn out to be I don't know but apparently in Europe the rules around sky, um, skydiving etc aren't as strict with regards to back issues etc so I might look into the feasibility of, of doing a sky jump uh, skydive um, in Europe um, if I can't get the GPs in the UK to kind of sign me off on it so yeah I just thought I'd let you know about my fear of heights and uh, I'm sure during my travels you will see in a few occasions where I do struggle with that. So yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe below, hit the bell so that you get notifications of new releases, and I'll see you on the road, fellas and ladies. Cheers for now, guys. Bye-bye.